This is a crazy story coming out of Houston, Texas, where a sister is being detained all the way in Dubai. And the crime she's charged with will surprise you once you hear it. According to media, they say that Dubai is a popular travel place for a lot of Houston women. This sister is actually trying to get back to Houston, but her passports have been taken and confiscated. And the charge she's being charged with, get this, screaming in public. Tara Young Allen, social media influencer, this sister, her mom actually told news that this is a scary situation. This could actually result in some jail time over there in this country. Her mom also said that this trip went left field when her daughter and a friend were traveling in the rental car and they got into a car accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter, her mother, said that when her daughter went to retrieve her belongings from the rental car company and get her ID, credit card, and other belongings that were left in the vehicle, that it didn't go well for her daughter. She was then told she could only have her belongings if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. This is crazy to me. It seems like they were only trying to hustle her. She dealt with a very aggressive young man that worked for this company. He was screaming at 29-year-old Tara Allen, and she ultimately yelled back at this rental car agent. This is the point where she was hit with the charge of screaming in public. Brother Cordell X of Houston, longtime community activist, says she's in jail for one reason and one reason only. She raised her voice in a country that a female isn't allowed to raise their voice. If a female raises their voice in this country, it's punishable by jail time. Crazy. And he also went on to say that this country has a strict system in place based off a of theocracy. A website also warns that laws and customs over there are different, so beware and be sure not to offend while in United Arab Emirates. Tara Allen has officially been charged with screaming in public. Passports were taken and she can't leave that country. And she's also been placed on a travel ban pending the outcome of this case. To me, this very much so sounds like a country that wants to keep their women in subservient, submissive roles and oppresses them in the process. But when you're from the U.S., you got to be careful when traveling outside the U.S. Be careful to know all the rules, regulations of a country before you just hop up and say, I want to travel somewhere. If you plan on taking a trip, do research first. But best wishes to this sister and a safe return home. Peace.